Florian, just as a European citizen, your thoughts when you see what's happening in Europe with Ukraine? Obviously, terrible things. Uh, people, uh, people are dying, losing everything in an unnecessary way because of one stupid maniac. And it's just terrible. Um, obviously, you, you read the news and everything, it, it sounds so, so unrealistic. And on the other side, I think it's like two hours by plane to my family, you know. And it's obviously a thing which is pretty, pretty concerning for every, every individual person. A tough transition to sports, but you guys had a game at the weekend. You were in it, but what were your thoughts from just watching the game and seeing how the team played? Obviously, we, we didn't play good. I mean, when you work six weeks in the preseason, you can't wait uh, for the first for the first game. You know, expectations were high, and then obviously we we disappointed. We we talked about it in the locker. Obviously, it was not the way uh, we wanted to perform. You can always lose, not the the thing. I think the how was the the thing which bothered us uh, the most. But um, we've shown a lot of times that we are ready to bounce back. We. Uh, yeah, I've talked about it and we can't wait to do it better on Saturday. How do you have that goldfish mentality to bounce back <laughs> against the cup champion? What's that goldfish mentality? Ted Lasso. I'm not watching oh. Ted Lasso, sorry. <laughs> uh, short sure. memory. That's good. Soccer players in general are not smart. I'm pretty dumb, so I, I forgot <laughs> this game. I didn't. I thought the season starts on Saturday. So I think we are very. We will have a very good bounce back on Saturday. That was just, yeah. Sorry, Mark. Did you recognize the team that was on the pitch on Saturday? Because when I watched yeah. how you guys played, that's not the team that I saw last year. Yeah, I know the guys still, still the same faces. <laughs> no, uh, obviously uh, disappointing. Obviously, I think like like you mentioned last year, uh, we also had bad games, but uh, we had a, a very good mentality where, where we fought. And obviously, we we missed that in that game, um, which happens. You have these type of games. It's always. Unfortunately, like I said, when, when you have it in the first game of the season, because your expectations are high, you worked hard in the preseason and all that stuff, but yeah, we can't wait. I mean, we, we addressed it and there's no, no doubt that we will do better on, on Saturday and get the first points. As so, somebody who, with Ukrainian heritage, what's going on in the, over there breaks my heart. I, I feel helpless, but the one thing that I, that I take a lot of pride in is the fact of athletes speaking out. And so often we hear them say, I'm not a politician, I'm just a, I'm just a sports person. And for me, I think that's wrong. To have people like yourself, the soccer club, stand united for the people of Ukraine, how important is that? And to have that voice heard? Well, I feel, personally, I feel everyone can, can say or not say what he wants. It's, it's everyone's decision. We could pretend we helped the world, but in the end, humans are selfish, it's everyone is. But um, like you said, I think we all have a platform, uh, fortunately, uh, and if you have a chance to, to do something something good uh, in a situation like that, then in a country in Ukraine, it's good. My wife and I, for example, we uh, donated uh, like some money for bears uh, in, in the Ukraine, uh, try to try to make it a little public and everything, you know, that, that people can help. And yeah, like I said, for that, our platform is good to, to do good things or to reach people, to, to tell them, hey, why not doing some, some good deeds for the karma and, and for the people and, and all the creatures uh, in the world, yeah. I just wanted to quickly ask you about Jervain Brown. You're a, you're a veteran, he's still a young guy in the league. Have you kind of maybe talk to him and he was a bit down after the game like the team kind of lifted him up a little bit. Yeah, of course um <laughs> thing is it's normal i think everyone was down but I, th I think especially when you're a younger younger player you bother more about that game i, I remember I, I see a lot of him in me because I, I love it because he was so so disappointed with himself and, er and everything with the situation but in the end, it's just one game, so it's good to lift him up. But I like what I see in him because it's it's the right attitude, and with the time and with the years, he he can uh, get a better feeling. That in the end, it's just one bad game, and one week later, you can make it up good. We win the game, and we're all happy. And I think he he will bounce back because he's a strong player, and we we're happy to have him. Thanks, Mario. Cool.